for this song. Feelings, no, this ain't really like me. Can't control my anxiety. Good morning, guys. Good morning, YouTube. How y'all living out there this morning? How y'all doing? And I heard us like spit. And I seen somebody over there spit on that damn Instagram. Them girls, three of them. Because the girl took her park. And honey, the girl, the, the big girl, and no disrespect to nobody, she knew she was way bigger than that girl to begin with. She could have molly whopped her ass, okay? Yeah, she took a park, but is it that serious for three women to walk up on a girl? And uh, the girl should have stayed in her car. Y'all, I'm talking about something I seen yesterday on Instagram. How y'all doing this morning? I hope everybody had a beautiful fourth. When I work, I'd be too tired to do anything. I'd be somewhere trying to sit down. And I didn't think too many people would uh, come out to celebrate the fourth. But a lot of people honey it got busy in that casino but uh the lady spit the big girl spit on that little girl and she just stood there because she was assessing the situation like it's three of them one of me and one to spit on me this girl three times my size the other girl you gonna let her spit on you you gonna let her spit on you and then she walked up and spit on that girl that girl said fuck this shit she said you know what I'm just gonna take my ass whooping in grace. She spit back on that hole and they went to fight. And I said, maybe she should have just stayed in the car, you know, or she could have got on and said, bam, I'm sorry. I didn't know I took your park. I apologize and went on, you know. Sometimes when you see three big, I mean, three girls, I ain't gonna say three big girls, one girl was very nice size. You gotta assess your situation and you gotta think about, do I want an ass whooping today? Or, you know, and somebody videotaping it. Everybody always want to show out. Now, if I was her, I have the police department. Because they all on tape. And it went viral. Contact all three of them hoes and get them for assault. Because at that point, it was self-defense for her. I don't care what a person do that don't give you the rights to put your hand. And y'all, when I be watching these basketball wives and I hit her, punch in the throat. I'm entertaining you guys this is entertainment I would never want somebody to go out and physically harm somebody okay but um it's Friday guys Friday when y'all get this happy Friday my Friday today when y'all get this tomorrow it'll be your Friday I hope everybody's having a blessed 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 day and I'm scrolling through all the info trying to find some dirt to relax to release I just said, Miss Tiki, where's your dirt alert? I said, I need to do one. Find somebody good that I want to roast and talk about their ass. Because that's the only thing my dirt alert is. That's a roast session, okay? But, um, the way, wait, let me, re, let me retract that. The way YouTube is set up, <laughs> they like to throw away my whole channel from dirt alert, okay? <laughs> Hey, Popo. Hey, police. How you doing? But, uh, y'all know Cardi B and the little baby is due. I would say any day now. July, I think it said the 7th. And they said the Migos had booked something in the United Kingdom to be out of town to perform that day. I said, well, I mean, they are performers and stuff so he couldn't say oh my uh wife is due that day i can't go they're a group and nine times out of ten you know they cut that pie three ways and they probably want all three of them there so everybody's like oh he's not gonna be there for the delivery who say the baby gonna come that day just because they give you a due date of july 7th and that's her first baby that don't mean the baby will be there on july 7th you know that's mother nature after that we have to give it to that man up above at that point. And everybody, oh, I 
I'm starting to feel like Cardi B. Every time this guy do something, all the uh, media outlets just run with it. You know, let them be. They young. Let them figure it out. Is it like future and and well, he damn near like future. <laughs> I'm just going to keep that one to myself because they got a different baby mama every day of the week. It's Nicki Minaj, Minaj slipping around with Future. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> That's how I feel this morning, okay? I, Jamie Foxx, they say him and Katie Holmes may be separated, but okay, media take out. Just because he spent the 4th of July with his kids. And the baby mama was hugging all over him because she probably want that old thing back. Y'all y'all know some women sometimes, not, not only women, some people will say never get over some relationships in life. And they love them people and they will love them probably till the day they die. They probably just weren't good together, but co-parenting is excellent for them. And my hat go off to Katie Holmes and uh, Jamie Foxx and whomever else, okay? But uh, an Atlanta rapper bankroll, y'all, I forgot the uh, song he sing. What the name of that song is? Somebody hit me down in the comments. Well, either way, guys, it's two years later. Somebody is still pissed off and mad about something that happened. And they went and shot up his mama house. Two years later, I'm like, ooh, what is going on, you guys? I guess they say he dead and gone, and we can't get him. And I guess there's been a, uh, an investigation, and they found out, allegedly, all this is allegedly, maybe, you know, bankroll was behind it. I don't know for sure. I'm scrolling through things, trying to find some to chit chat, tell it what, bring a dog a bone to talk about. So, but the moral to that story was two years later, they still shooting up bankroll's mama house and bankroll is dead and gone, okay? Y'all let it go, let it go. I am Connor, I am, I don't know him, the young man that is seen on the pictures lately with Tommy from uh, Love and Hip Hop ATL. Honey, they say he is allegedly a rapist. They say 21 women have uh, said or I don't know if they went and filed charges against him. I don't know if he's the young R. Kelly. I don't know what the deal is, but 21 women have said this young man has raped them. So, he was invited to the, um, the um, where they go, <laughs> y'all, it's Friday. Y'all bear with me, okay? Miss Tiki got to get it together this morning. He was in, invited over there to the fashion show fashion week in Paris Rome wherever the hell they be at and um, I guess they are using his face for the poster but a lot of people are saying uh uh I would not buy his shit he is a rapist and I said Tommy you dating somebody like that but y'all Tommy fucked up too so oh lord Jesus we gonna raise our hands to pray out to Tommy shit she got on a ankle bracelet and he they saying that rape allegedly 21 women okay so you know i don't know i don't know but uh we gonna raise our head now for prayer for tommy and what she's getting involved with i'm like but well, damn y'all she crazy she 51 50 she got some serious issues y'all and i like tommy when i see her on love and hip-hop atl and she's good tv but uh she says she has always been shy and she has to have a drink to, you know, even get out there and act a damn fool. And now she, you know, put on this persona as being the baddest bitch that'll whoop anybody ass at the drop of a dime. She probably has to stay drunk to give us good TV, you know. It's sad that the situation turned out like this. All right, boo, I got to come on past you. Big truck, let me buy. But, uh... She, she said pray for her you guys and help her and when people you know at least she's realizing well she stated several times I'm the only one that take care of my family my mama I think her mother's sick I don't know what's wrong with her mom she said pray for my mom I haven't been keeping up with uh, love and hip-hop ATL 
It just didn't give me what I wanted this season. And I love loving hip hop ATL. That is what hooked me to reality shows. But there's no Jocelyn. And I was tired of seeing Rashida and Kurt and this baby and this fuck shit. And her making. Now she makes women look bad. I mean, come on now. Your husband now having babies and. They say another allegedly young lady is pregnant and you're going with women. I'm like, is this shit fake or real? But whatever it is, this is what you're putting out there for the younger women in America. And I just wasn't feeling that. Now, I don't mind y'all shaking the tables and doing whatever, whatnot, that Erica Mena. Somebody gonna knock her the fuck out. Somebody gonna knock that bitch into next year. She got a whole bunch of mouth. She got a whole bunch of mouth. She's cute. Somebody gonna fuck Erica Mena up. She gonna say the wrong thing. And then, oh, you wanna talk about a female? You wanna call me a bitch? I seen the previews for the reunion. And uh, you wanna call my son a name? But bitch, your mouth. Your mouth. Somebody gonna rearrange your whole fucking face. You gonna say something to somebody and they gonna knock your jaw bones out of place. I'm just saying, you know. Erica Mena got to be careful. Her mouth. But uh, you guys, let me see. Is there anything else going on? I was uh, scrolling through the gram and I also seen a young lady climbing up to the on the top of the uh, Statue of Liberty. I was like, okay, on the 4th of July, bitch, you trying to make a statement. An uh, African young lady, they were protesting the, um, I think, the immigration laws or something with the uh, Trump separating the kids from the parents and to my knowledge I think it was seven or eight of them or whatever I don't know the exact story like you guys say I'm scamming over stuff trying to write something down and get out that door because I got to get it how I live okay a real job <laughs> I, I have not made it as a youtuber <laughs> anyway they protesters say this bitch was supposed to stop at a certain spot. This bitch went all the way up. But I seen when that guy got up there, that police officer, he snatched her ass damn near down. I said, bitch, he is not in the mood for your ass today, okay? But uh, you guys, y'all let me get off of here. Miss Tiki Todd, y'all have a blessed day. Everybody enjoy their weekend. Happy Friday. Thanks for sliding through, you guys. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like, 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 like. Subscribe. Follow me over there on uh, IG Tiki44. And before I go, they say K Michelle. K Michelle stated that she had over 25 pounds worth of some kind of implant material in her ass. I don't know what that hell I had. I thought it was fat. So I see all these girls having these BBWs. They taking the fat off and sticking it in the ass. I said, Lord, I'm glad I got ass, hips, titties. I got it all. Y'all can have some of this shit if you want to, to stick in your ass. But uh, she said she removed 25 pounds of some unwanted shit in her ass. I'm like, bitch, you don't go have a seat somewhere. And she's going to be on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Alexis was on there. Sorry, guys. I was thinking about shit. <laughs> Alexis has been on social media. Stating to everybody that Fetty Wap, she waiting on him to take the DNA test. And she keeps saying he is her baby daddy. But honey, I don't think Fetty is uh, Alexis Scott baby daddy. I don't know. And um, they say he, don't, he won't say too much. And he told his baby mamas, don't talk about her nor the baby. Because the baby got health issues. And I feel that is very honorable for him to at least tell them to relax on her but at the same time go over there take the DNA test and get your ass off the hook if you're not the baby daddy but I think she know you're not the baby daddy that's not why she, that's why she's not trying to push the issues of that but you guys y'all have a blessed day let me get off of here thanks for sliding through guys bye <laughs> Nobody came and know how it do to me.